friends, what's going on? Welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. It's Friday, guys. The weekend's about to kick off, and today it's Nerf target time. That's right, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the Nerf hovering target. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. The Nerf hovering target comes with everything you see here and average retails for $24.99. You get four foam balls, a Nerf net backstop, two orange posts, and it does require four AA batteries, which are not included. Okay, my friends, let's quickly go over the setup and the features of the Nerf Elite Hovering Target. And as you can see, when you take it out of the box, you're going to have these two orange posts. You are going to tie the four ties from the cargo net to the posts themselves. There is an additional tie in the middle on the bottom. On the back of the target is where you're going to connect that last tie from the cargo net, right here where this D-ring is. Also on the back, you're going to have the battery door, which you're going to insert the four AA batteries, which do not come with the package and these four adjustable knobs so you can actually adjust and fine tune the airflow settings to make the balls either rise higher or lower. Now taking a look at the front of the hover target, here is the cargo door where you actually push that down and that's where you can store the four foam little discs. These are something like you would get at Michael's or any craft store actually. Close that up, set them up on top, and then simply press on the power button here and voila, they magically float. Again, my friends, you can go ahead and adjust the knobs to any height of the balls that you want. As you can see, those are pretty high. And then we can make these go a little bit lower if we choose, or we can raise them all the way up and have all four at their highest setting. Now, once you're ready to put the backing on, I'm gonna leave the bottom one untied just for the sake of this video, but you're simply just going to slide it in these two slots here in the back, and then you perfectly have your backstop. So now all you gotta do, load up your favorite blaster, turn on the hovering target, and fire away. Well, ladies and gents, there's nothing left to do but to take some firing shots at the hovering target. And for that, I'm gonna let my son do the entire demonstration for this. And what's interesting about this is I kind of did it in a different format. He was so excited to play with this, I literally just set the camera up in the corner, I hit the record button, and he never knew the camera was on. So basically, I shot about seven minutes worth of footage. I edited back out the dead parts in the video so you guys could see what this would be naturally like in your own home. So people don't, so you're not so close. Try to aim from further away. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh, we gotta put the balls back on. What do you think of this hovering target? Is it pretty cool? I'll do it for you later. Back up. Back up here. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay, back up a bit. You got two of them. Good job, buddy. I'm going to shoot two of them. Ah, I'm going to make a pattern of that. One down. They fell off again? Yeah, oh, no. yeah sometimes they blow over. <laughs> so 
go guys, time for my final opinion of the Nerf hovering target and honestly I would say pass on this one. I think there are better Nerf targets available. In particular, the Nerf Alien Menace digital target. You don't have to worry about the balls getting lost. You don't have to worry about them falling off of the cones all the time because that happens a lot. Especially after these balls have been hit numerous times, they actually start to deform. I don't know if you can actually see that but they're not perfectly spherical any longer. So they actually are more affected by the wind coming up, which makes them fall off the target quite a bit. I mean, we only played with this for about two hours and you can see my son constantly having to put them back on. I just think that there are better ones available for the same exact money that your child will have more fun with. Now, that's not to say that my four-year-old didn't enjoy this. You could clearly see he did. He had fun putting them back on, watching them float around. But I'll be honest, we almost lost two of these in my small office. So well, honestly, my friends, I would steer you more towards the Nerf Alien Menace digital target. If you'd like to see a full review on this, go ahead and click the card popping up in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to my Nerf targets playlist where you can not only see this one, you'll actually see a bunch of other targets that can actually be used in conjunction with Nerf. But this is $24.99 as well, and it takes three AA batteries, not four. And in my opinion, the longevity and the fun factor of the digital target, as opposed to the hovering target, is huge. You don't have to worry about losing balls or them getting deformed and not working properly. You don't have to pick up balls that fall all over the floor and spend more time setting it up than actually playing. With the digital target, you get multiple game modes, and all you have to do is replace the batteries here. So my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Nerf hovering target and my little bit of a push for the digital target. Once again, thanks for joining me on the CJ Nerf channel. See you guys next time.